Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Uh, this is a Q&A on where and how do I start with getting to disposables. It can be difficult to know which pads to begin with as going to cloth pads and reusable products uh, makes you realise that there are many options that you have never had before. However, if you are still uneasy, there are a plethora of benefits which I have already covered in some other Q&As and cloth pad tags, but just to recap, they are hypoallergenic, washable, reusable, which means they'll actually never run out. Uh, they are free of chemicals, plastics, uh, they prevent allergic reactions like dermatitis, and they prevent exposure to chemicals and perfumes that can be very, very damaging to your uh, vulva and vagina. They are environmentally friendly by preventing plastic wrapping and non-biodegradable items such as tampons entering into landfill and they save you money in the long run. They also, uh, you, and as you are able to change on demand uh, over uh, the financial terror of maybe being limited to one pack per period uh, or one tampon box per period, you can change and wash as many times as you need to. There are many options out there and there are important decisions to make first before you decide to commit yourself or to at least commit financially. So these decisions will include I mean, if you decide if you use internal or external protection. If you use internal protection, uh, you need to go and find out what your cervix height is and choose, and, therefore, and then from that decision, you can choose from a plethora of cups that are currently on the market, and a lot of these are designed to go with uh, different cervix heights and also different body, uh, like if you're a teen or pre-birth or post-birth or which cervix height, there are so many cups out there that will cater for you. I will link the put a cup in a quiz down below. I've linked this in other videos. If you haven't done it, please go do it. While I do not personally use sea sponges, these are also another option, as are disposable discs like soft cups, uh, but they still have an environmental impact. However, Intima and Lumina have reusable discs, both which I will link below to their web links. I'll put links below in the description box to their websites. If you are for external protection, there are several options available with cloth pads and period underwear. Um, these can include Modibody, Lunar Love and Thinks. Also, if you are trans, you can access uh, pyramid underwear. Um, they are boxer shorts with a gusset in them. I will link all of these below. Um, while I do have a variety of reviews up for several different makers of cloth pads and menstrual cups, uh, you will need to find out what you're most comfortable with, like cotton, velvet, and the size and environmental ethics of the company that you will want to be buying from, and also the type of patterns that you are attracted to. I have actually purchased some certain pads which are identical to other ones that I own which I never wore and end up destashing to my sister because I had pads available that had a print that I liked on it better. So I kept the print that I loved and destashed the ones that I didn't wear to my sister or to my friend. Um, and that's perfectly fine to do. Um, this one here and this one here are made by one of my favourite makers, Handmade by Hetty. Um, I have de-stashed some of her um, pads because they were ones that I just didn't end up wearing and somebody else was going to get more use out of it. This is another maker that I love called Kitty Cat Cloth, uh, who is a US maker. Um, Handmade by Hetty is an Irish maker. I have de-stashed some of her pads as well because they just didn't, while I love her work, they just didn't suit me. So just be aware that sometimes, even when you buy from a maker or a brand that you love, they might not necessarily be perfect for you either. 
while it is not recommended to buy all of your products from a single maker, um, especially one that you haven't tried before, a lot of makers have like a tester set or a starter set which may give you a few sizes and or styles to try and maybe a few extras like you might get a free wet bag or drying straps with your order. So within your financial budget you can buy test and try. Um, I know this maker here is a New Zealand maker called Scarlet Scarlet Eve Cloth or Scarlet Cloth um, who makes tester sets and tester pads that are actually like a quite uh, reasonably priced so you can get four or five and in different sizes and test them out. So hopefully that helps you in making up your mind of where to go. If you go for a cup, check out your cervix height. If you go for sponges, probably watch some of the reviews on them because I can't give much help with them. Um, there are also menstrual discs for internal protection and also for external protection, there are underwear and pads. I hope this helps you guys all out. All of the details and links will be in the description box below as well my contact details where you can contact me on several social medias and or send me an email. Outside of that, enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon or evening and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time. Catch up with you next time. Bye.